Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all good. Today we will create animated bottom tab bar navigation. So let's get started. So I created the app, installed navigation library, and configured navigation, created a stack navigator with some screens. I added home screen and tabs screen. I given this starter code link in the description, clone that and start implementing with me. Move to the home screen. Here I added list accordion from React Native Pepper and added some list items. Let's add navigation on list item press. Create navigate method to navigate to tab screen. Now add tab route on navigate method. Now move to anim tab screen. I already created boilerplate and added tab array. In that array, I added route name, label, icon type, active icon name, inactive icon name, and component key values. Added everything which is necessary to create tab screen. Let's add tab navigation, import create bottom tab navigator, return tab dot navigator. In that navigator, we will map that tab array. Now add tab dot screen, pass item value and the screen's props. Name value is passed as item.route and component will be passed as item.component. Now you can see bottom tab appeared. Hide this default error. Add screen options and that add header shown to false. Now add tab screen options and in that options add tab bar level, pass item level and then add tab bar icon. Here we will add icon component and add icon props. Its name will be get from item. Add color and focus parameter and pass this into icon component. If focused is true then show item.active icon else show inactive icon and then add color we have to add icon type to show icon so we will get it from item.type now save it all right all icon visible now and navigation works perfectly now we'll add tab bar style into screen options add tab bar height which is 60 then position will be absolute now add some margin around tab bar Add bottom, right and left to 16 and add border radius which is 10. Now hide tab bar label by doing false to tab bar show label. Increase border radius. Now we'll add custom tab bar button. Add tab bar component and now get props from tab bar button and spread it into tab button. Alright, let's create tab button component. Now add item props into tab button to access tab array item values. Copy icon component from tab bar icon and paste it into tab button. Remove color and focus from here for now.
All right, icon are visible now. Add some style into tab button. Add container style. Flex will be one. Justify content will be center, and align item will be center. Now save it. Yeah, better now. Now change this view into touchable opacity. Add on press. Destructure on press from props. And pass into buttons on press. Add touchable opacity, active opacity. Here we can use touchable without feedback button also. Now we'll check what we get into props. Just console log the prop and see. You can see selected tab button has selected key, which is true under accessibility state object, and others are false. So we will use it to check which tab button is focused. Get accessibility state from props. Now add constant focused, which is boolean. If tab selected, then it is stored true. Otherwise, store false. Now add color props. If focused is true, then show primary color, which is blue. Otherwise, show primary light color, which is light blue. All right, it works. Now it's time to add animation on tab button. We will use React Native Animatable dependency. If not installed, then first install it. Import it into tab bar screen. Now wrap icon with animatable view. And add container style. If we add zoom in animation directly, then it animate first time when tab bar first time renders, not every time when it focused. So now remove this animatable props and add wrap, which is view wrap. Now create view wrap using use wrap hook. and its initial value will be null. Now add use effect. We call animate method using vwrap. I passed focus into dependency array of use effect so that every time when focus is changed, tab button re-renders. So when focus is true, then we pass some different value to animate button and when focus just fall, then we pass opposite value into animate function. So let's add scale object. So at zero, we scale it from one, and at one, we scale it to 1.5. All right, try this. You can see it is scales. Now handle when focus just falls. Just do opposite what we did for when focus is true. Alright, it works. Now start a scale from half of its actual size and rotate it from 0 degree to 360 degree. Alright, scale and rotate working now. Change its duration from 2000 to 1000, which is 1 second. Now we will change active and inactive icon according to focus value. So pass it into icon name. Alright, you can see now when icon is active, it show field icon and when it is inactive, it show outline icon. Let's go ahead, 
tab 1 is done now so this is our animatable bottom tab navigator i hope you enjoyed and learned something new from this tutorial so see ya until the next video and never forget to like and subscribe the channel thanks